Well, Oklahoma's aviation expertise is helping those around the world. The latest example, a project to make the skies over Afghanistan safer. Russell Joel introduces us to some young men who have traveled halfway around the world to learn more than just aviation. Decoder chip, convert the binary information. A trip to Bill Lair's classroom at Metro output. Tech may seem pretty Specific daunting to most people. His lessons are highly technical, the tests very scientific, and the writing on the wall, well, isn't so obvious. When we're looking so at obvious. our encoder-decoder circuit, uh, we need to remember that what we're primarily doing is taking a binary input signal and we're converting that to an output signal that we can see as a decimal number. Mr. Lair teaches electronics here at Metro Tech in Oklahoma City, and while his daily lessons focus on the minute details of an integrated circuit, the students in his class are hoping to take away something much bigger. Students like Salomon Aqui. Personally, I was looking for this training, looking for this opportunity, going here, coming here, and having this opportunity for two years. Salomon is just one of 11 students in Mr. Lair's class being trained by the FAA to operate an air traffic control radar, a skill they will eventually take back to their home country of Afghanistan. The United States is giving the country of Afghanistan an uh, FAA radar, uh, air, control, air traffic control radar, and these gentlemen are learning to be technicians to maintain that, that radar. Pete Lee, the director of Metro Tech's aviation program, says that while his campus willingly accepted the task of training these students from the FAA, the challenges involved turned out to be a little more daunting than originally thought. There were a lot of considerations, uh, language, uh, dietary, uh, you know, the customs of the country that we had to consider in making our proposal to the FAA. But perhaps the most daunting challenge in this program was for the students themselves. Being half a world away from home proved difficult for the class. And as Afdul Fahim found out, the great distance also meant making some pretty tough choices. About two weeks ago, uh, suddenly I um, um, informed about my family because I called my uh, home. My brother told me that uh, my father was a little bisect. I decided to go back to Afghanistan because I was the only person that uh, was supporting my family. So Fahim decided to put his studies on hold so that he could return home to help his father. I called my uh, uh, father and uh, I talked with him. My father forced me, don't come back. Uh, just uh, uh, stay here and finish your education. When you finish your education, you can't come back to Afghanistan. I've never had a group of students who were more focused, more dedicated, and more driven by a desire to learn than these particular students have been. Instructor Lair says that he was more than delighted to accept the challenge this course presented and was honored to make a contribution to the FAA's effort to rebuild a war-torn nation. They've taken a, a great interest in developing the infrastructure for Afghanistan and for the government and the people of Afghanistan. And these particular students will go back after their training and they will um, help to, to make Afghanistan and Kabul a better place. Afdul and his 10 classmates did indeed finish their education. At their graduation ceremony, the class expressed their sincere gratitude for the opportunity given to them, an opportunity that will equip them to take skills back to their home country. As you know, our country is a country with less people to serve, but a lot, a lot people to be served. And we need this kind of training, this kind of opportunity, the aviation industry is more than just planes flying around. There's a complete infrastructure most people aren't aware of. FAA program manager Stan Solo says the skills the students will take back to their homeland will contribute to much more than just inbound flights. So will recognize the importance of uh, jobs, commerce, that type of thing, are all going all to be a direct result of improved aviation. We're providing uh, more than just academic training. We're providing what we're known for, what CareerTech's known for, is hands-on direct application knowledge.